Mm-hmm. Well, let's talk about Go Skateboarding Day because your guys' oh, yeah. episode airs on Go Skateboarding Day. Yeah, all right. So what are you guys doing for Go are Skateboarding you be Day? Are in Austin? Austin for Wild in the Streets? Yeah. On the Streets? Know. And I you're going to go wanna, skateboarding? I'm going to skate, but Somewhere. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, we're doing Probably actually, gonna skate we're doing a <laughs> Supra you? Crew, um, Baker, Shake Jump, Death Wish. We're all going to Hollenbeck Park? Yeah, I think so. I think it's Hollenbeck, yeah. Oh, uh-huh, I've been to Hollenbeck Park, mm-hmm. yep. And then we're all going there and just throw shit out, everyone skates. A lot of kids are asking about the secret to a good hard flip. Those are hard, dude. Shit. I don't know. So is it more front foot for you? More f- flick? More like flick, <laughs> kick flip? It's more flick like I, back. I try to do a front side flip, but I trick my upper body to Into knock on 180? Straight, yeah. I like front side flip, like I'm gonna front side flip, and then I go, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go, maybe that'll help. No, just kidding. A lot of yeah, kids are asking about your hair, too. They seem to think there's a story behind your hair. There's a story? Mm. No, I don't. You're just growing it, right? Yeah, I mean, I just never cut it, I guess. That's why it's all been, the chicks dig you on the tour. It's been like, I remember when I was like 12. <laughs> or no, I had a bowl cut when I was like really young. Uh-huh. I just like never cut it since then. Just Grew out, I guess. Do you, are you ever gonna it's cut it? Bold, it just gets bigger. You're trimming. Bigger. You're gonna I've have to trim it. it. I've gotten it trimmed before. It's gonna but. be like scary long if you don't trim it. <laughs> it's gonna be like <laughs> your dog is a Tupac dog and it's survived gunshots. I don't know. I like lived back in the day like in the middle of like nowhere. There was like 80 acres that surrounded us, but I had a kind of a close neighbor. The Tupac first time dog. this ever happened, it was on Christmas Day. No. And Christmas Day, we wake up. And like the dogs are all excited, we're like doing our thing or whatever. They knew like, it was Christmas. Well, yeah, it's Christmas. You know, what I mean? I mean, we're so pretty Christmas. mellow. We're chilling. <laughs> the dogs are like, yeah, they yeah, know. Like, oh, like, oh, something's cool. It was seriously probably like, fuck, three minutes. It was so fast, you know. And I come outside and like, I just see my dog like, dragging his back and like no. by his front, like dragging himself. And I was like, whoa, I was like my, like screamed, and he like looked at me, like looked up and seen me, and then he like. He fainted. He like passed out. Like he was like, and like hit his like boom, smacked the floor, and he was like dead. Like just trying to make it to you. Yeah, and like passed out. So I fucking flipped out, ran inside, grabbed a towel, came outside, wrapped him up. Like it was so much blood. It was insane. Blood everywhere. Towel was bloody as fuck right away. Grabbed my brother, got inside the car, started dipping the fuck out. It's Christmas Day. The first three places I went to, completely fucking shut down. Yeah. yeah. And there was one place finally open. I rushed the dog in and like rushed him and like I handed these people a dead dog. Straight up. I fucking was like came in and there was like blood dripping from every which point you can think of. The dog has no color to him. He's like just like a maroon. Uh-huh. Because yeah. of so much blood. Yeah. And That's I'm smart. just like handing him this dog that's like dead. Like neck bent the fuck over. And they're like, dude, what the fuck? Wow. So I handled the dog and he like was in the hospital for probably like 18, 19 hours before he like came out of his old little coma and that works. And then he made it and he got shot again? They called me fucking the next day, like all Christmas day he was in like under fucking, you know, coma shit, you know? They called me the next day at fucking 6.45 and they were like, You're, he just came out like an hour and a half ago. He's doing pretty well, like, you know, they had to wow. sustain him once he came back kind of, you know? That's Almost near death crazy. You know, so you know. what happened? How do you do? You know who shot him? Well, the fucking crazy ass thing about that is like I, you know, I nursed him back, got himself back to, or he nursed himself even getting himself back. You know, he's a tough dog. He wants to get the fuck out there, so he's trying to fucking stay legit and yeah. get clean and get back on the streets and start doing his thing. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, Are we still yeah, talking about a dog here? Yeah, he's like I just pissed on some yeah. trees and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so he was all fucking wanting to get healthy too, and he gets back, and one day I took him on a walk. And we were just cruising, and then I think it's the point where I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get this motherfucker, and we're gonna cruise back. So I go down to fucking kneel down to grab the guy, and I'm about fucking, I don't know, foot and a half away from him. I'm fucking basically over him. I'm in strut, walking to go down to grab him like this, boom. No. And fucking, a fucking bullet flies straight between my face and like six inches from his back. So my back, or his back, my face, bullet just was like, I don't know really if that's where it was, but the fucking bullet, the air was like, it like launched me back. I was Holy like, shit. like I was gonna fly back. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? So I, I did, I flew back, I flew back. My dog jumped up, 
bullet definitely went off and I was like, what the fuck? And the second I was like, what the fuck? The, the, the next bullet, boom, nailed my dog in the back of his legs. My dog was like, burr, burr, and fucking took off running. And then I jump up out of the fucking, off the floor, I, you know, out of this, there's like a bush and I look around the bush there's a fucking dude fucking with his big ass scope like holding a gun. <laughs> the fuck, so then I kind of panicked again because I was like, fuck, there's He's a gun pointed at me again, yeah. you know? So I fucking what jump fuck? back. I'm tripping the fuck out. Like, holy shit, this is like sketchy. And I was like, yo, man, what the fuck's your problem, dude? Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? And he just like, just, you know, just get all, got all sketchy and started running off. Are you serious? Yeah, no, dude, this dude was just some people. sketchy ass fool yeah. staying at his grandma's house. Some sketchy ass fool staying at his grandma's house, like hiding out or some shit. Some sketchy shit he did back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So he went to jail. Yeah, so like the cops came and they were like, da da da. They went to the grandma's house and they were like, yeah, is this your fucking, is your son liver? And they're like, yeah, he just left. And like they had went and chased him down or some shit, caught him. I don't really care. Do you man. have the gun with him? I just care about my dog. I mean, fucking whatever. So your whatever, dog was okay dude, you know, after the second time things, he got shot know? too? But he was good again. But that fool toughed it out that time. I like brought him to the hospital and he's like sitting there like licking the wounds like, Chilling, I'm like, damn, fool, you just took a 22 to the hip he's right like now. 50, yeah, he's like 50 cent. <clears throat> One of the Facebook fans out there, is Ernesto Hayes the third, says that Reynolds has said in an interview that Herman was only skating at half of his potential in his state gold part, and ask you if you agree with Andrew's statement. Yeah, right, I was trying my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> it's only, he, well, Andrew said it was only half your potential. No, I, uh, I went through, like, an injury back then after I, like, hurt my leg, and I don't know, it was just, like, a little bit harder. I'd rather, like, skate more mellow than, like, skate hard and then hurt myself again and be fucked up and not be able to skate for another fucking six months, you know? Yeah. So I was thinking about that part, and then I was thinking, like, what are your favorite over the years, like, picnic table tricks that other people have done? Just because you you the handled best thing picking ever table is business like so heavy. Fucking Keenan, dude, when he does that switch, <laughs> that switch foot, foot, man, it's so. That's just so raw, right there. Like yeah, the Keenan switch foot was Keenan so Keenan long ago foot, and it's so fun. perfect. Like you can't yeah. even beat it. It's like it's like almost so shifty still. It's like he's like. Oh man, that was the butteriest thing ever. Well, what's a picnic table trick that hasn't been done? Like a trick over a picnic table that you'd like that to see? Done. There's a lot, right? Well, there's like a lot of stuff that's been done with like little bumps. I personally no think bumps. that like you can't have any kind of bump to it. Yeah, so a no bump. What would you like to see? No bump. Oh, what would I like to see? No bump. Uh, well, what am I going to do? Like, what when is my some, next yeah. go to? <laughs> I want to switch to more yellow one. Wow. Just nothing. Just normal. I mean, the homie, it. was it Disarmo? They did one over yeah. like the one over with that little baby bump, and that shit was hard looking. It was tough. Why is it that Will Aber, or I'm sorry, Will Albers, one of your fans says, Hey Brian, how's your anger management going? Oh, the fuck awesome. you talking about? <laughs> Have you seen all the stories you told? No, no, I, I fucking. I do have a little anger management problem. Ooh. Wait, when you broke with, Beagle's board? For sure. I gotta go to anger management, dude. Oh man! <laughs> I'm gonna deal with I'm gonna deal with my my shit. You know, anger in the way of it's not my anger. Way of it's not anger. It's, it's it, you know what it is. It's not anger. Passion. And I just fucking just give. I, I just uh, yeah. I just like fucking yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that, like, that was yeah, nothing actually. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't that was, you said nothing right there. <laughs> yeah, this is not. Fuck. 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 What do you do? I'm just trying to be chilling, but. Everyone wants to be crazy. In his no bed. way. Brian! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We're good. Hey, um, uh, Esteban Santiago says, when will the Baker 4 video come out? That's actually, I, you know the name of it, I think it's... Well, it's going to be like this. <laughs> uh, right. Baker 4 life. life. All right, so, you know, we've come out with Baker 3, you know, so if we be Baker 4, like number 4, mm -hmm. life. So, I'm imagining... 2022? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. so, wait, 223. Maybe something around there. 223. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't but quote we'll, him we'll, on that. We're Don't quote him. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. We'll be there. We'll be there. Where you going, bro? Do shit. And I was so heated and mad, I was just like, fuck this. And I've seen the bowling rack right there. 